Craniosynostosis results from sutures in the skull closing too early in development. When a baby is born, the skull is made up of several bones that are separated by spaces called sutures. Sutures make new bone as the skull grows. Eventually, the sutures close and the individual bones of the skull fuse together into one solid piece of bone. But in a baby with craniosynostosis, one or more of the sutures close too soon, which prevents the skull from growing properly. Meanwhile, the baby's brain keeps growing. To make room for it, the sutures that aren't closed make more bone than they normally would. The resulting uneven growth affects the baby's head shape. Not all babies with a head shape difference have craniosynostosis. Only one in about 2,500 babies is born with it. It can happen with or without a family history, and sometimes it happens as a part of a syndrome or a genetic disorder but most of the time it doesn't. Doctors often recommend surgery to return a baby's skull to a more typical shape. In some children, craniosynostosis can affect brain growth and development. That's why it's important to see a treatment team that includes many pediatric specialties, like the one at Children's Hospital Colorado. For more information or to make an appointment, call us or visit our website.